What makes this play so glitchy is the timing of the two routes. He does react to the crossing receiver, but if he does commit to that, the running back would be open right underneath him anyway. So he really doesn't have a choice. One of these two routes is going to get open, making this one of the glitchier plays in the game. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable mutt coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese has always got another explosive passing play for you guys today. This is something that is kind of going around right now as one of the new metas in Madden 22. The playbook that I'm in today is the Rams. I haven't done a lot out of this playbook, but I did say in a previous video, when I redid my top five uh, playbooks video, my top five offensive playbooks video uh, a couple of months back, I had the Rams in there because it's really been one of my favorite playbooks for a very long time. I love pretty much every single single back set that they have, uh, and I can pretty much do an offense out of just about any formation that this entire playbook has so if you guys would like to see more from the rams more offenses or more from Woo! this offense or just more from this in general hit the like button let me know in the comment section because i know a lot of people are switching over to that the formation that i'm going to be in today is the gun tight flex like i said this is something that's going around as one of the best plays in the game so i'm going to show you guys uh, how to utilize it the play itself is going to be the pa post shot if you guys want to see more offensive plays out of this i can make an entire offensive scheme i will be doing that already it'll be on my patreon on my join now community tab so if you guys are members of those communities, you can check that out. But if you want to see it here on YouTube, hit the like button in the comment section. I'll put it out later in the week. Uh, now let's go and let's pick the PA post shot. And on the defensive side, we're going to go. We're going to match with nickel, but we're going to start off with Tampa 2 like we always do and work our way back. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor, AOH.com. If you guys want to get your mud team up and support this channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out. Link in the description below and use discount code MONEY to get 3% off. It's always guaranteed to be the juice going to the market. A lot of people ask me when I do these one-play touchdown videos, they ask for plays that are more like dinking dunk offenses and this play already has that if you want that you don't have to make any adjustments at all i mean the drag route the b route even the y route which is probably my one of my favorite routes in the game right now you can see how that route will get open a lot of times although i didn't get a very good animation there i gotta cut that like frozen in the air animation but you have a very good series of uh check downs built in to this play already like the tight end coming across the the b route all these uh crossing routes are going to get open against you know most defenses at certain points on the play now the setup for this play should look pretty familiar because it's going to be pretty uh similar to something that i put out recently from a different formation i'm not saying that i originated this setup but it's a very uh, meta setup right now where essentially you just put the y route here on a streak and then you also need to put the running back on a wheel route now obviously this is going to really cut down on your pass pro i don't typically like to do this particular setup uh, you pretty much need to have a mobile quarterback that can run around in the backfield to make this work but I'm gonna try to do this in practice mode anyway uh, but this is gonna be pretty much be it now the Y route here will be uh, just the route pulling receivers back and the X route will pretty much be the route that's the one play touchdown against just about every single defense now there I probably threw it a little bit early I did that because I don't really have a quarterback that can move that's kind of important when it comes to running this I mean that is the meta as well uh, but ultimately you can see I mean I can get over the top of that cover two safety with this setup which is the most important thing now against cover two you don't really need the running back you can pass block the running back this is something that you can have success with 
without giving that up. As you can see, I mean, it's really gonna, you know, still get open against cover two, but that's not gonna be the case against something like a cover three. If I go to the replay, you'll see the reason this play has success is because the safeties react differently. Typically, the safeties cover their deep half, they split that field in half, uh, and there's no real deep routes on the right side compared to the left side. On the left side, you can see we got deep routes on the right side, you can see we got shallow routes. So that safety just kind of lags off a little bit, reacting to those deep crossers, and that gives it just enough time for this route to get over the top and be a one-play touchdown. We'll have the same effect again cover two man so let's go and let's pick that cover two man same setup maybe even easier than cover two although i forgot to take off the uh the play action but you can see same effect we get over the top not quite as gone as i'd like to be i mean i like a little bit more speed but odell gets the job done now against cover three the setup is a little bit more particular you pretty much have to do the running back so we'll go and we'll pick cover three sky now against cover three there's no way around it you need that wheel route the wheel route is one of the best things when it comes to holding down cover three cornerbacks and it's essential when it comes to beating this play for a one play touchdown against cover three so same setup put that y route on a streak get that running back on a wheel route Give yourself a little bit of time and make sure that you have a strong arm quarterback because I'm dropping back since I can't roll out. And you can see we get a very easy one play touchdown against cover three. The reason that happens is because the wheel route would be open if he committed to the Y route. If you watch, the wheel route really gets into his area about the time that he wants to sprint away and take off. And that's why it's so such a glitchy play. What makes this play so glitchy is the timing of the two routes. He does react to the crossing receiver, but if he does commit to that, the running back would be open right underneath him anyway. So he really doesn't have a choice. One of these two routes is going to get open. So that's a pretty consistent setup, whether you're looking at any cover two or cover three. But there is a couple of different setups you could do when it comes to cover one or cover four. So let's go and let's pick that play one more time. We're going to start off. We're going to go ahead. We're going to do some man coverages first. We're going to go with cover one hole. Now, the reason I'm changing gears here is really simple. Um, the, you know, cover one, cover four, like I'm going to show you guys in a minute. Uh, we're going to attack a different route. We're going to address this very differently because the, the route to me that's going to work best against these shared defenses is going to be the Y route. And this is another thing that I've put out recently, um, you know, in the past. This is something that, uh, you know, I, I've talked about how the Y route is one of the glitchy routes in the game right now when it comes to a lot of these different things. And you're going to see here how this is going to be a much better route when it comes to beating uh, man coverage than the other route that we were attacking before. Now, I can put the X route on a streak just to pull that safety back, which I did not do there. That will help. Uh, Cooper Cup here is one of the best receivers in the game as far as route running, but he's not necessarily fast enough for this to be a one-play touchdown, I don't think. I know Cooper Cup's one of the best players in the game, but speed is what wins in Madden, and he is he might not be fast enough. He, he'll probably have a better release, probably get better separation, stuff like that, but I don't know if he's going to be quite fast enough to get going from anyone on the field like maybe a backup receiver like Tutu Atwell will be, but you can see he scores there. Now, that's not to say that the original setup wouldn't work. Block, or the running back still want to put him on a block but if I streak the Y route a lot of times the X route will have success uh, depending on you know how big of an advantage you have as far as speed and stuff like that so that route still can get going I just find the other routes a little bit better now when it comes to something like a cover four that's completely different uh, cover four um, is something where we're gonna have to switch routes so let's go and let's pick the cover four drop this here you definitely have to switch routes you don't have to make any adjustments though this is a, a natural one play touchdown against cover four to that exact same route Hopefully, uh, Cooper Cup, I mean, like I said, speed's a little bit of an issue. As you can see, he gets past the cornerback there, but not quite as much as I'm used to. Like I said, typically when I use faster receivers, this route here will be a couple yards down the field. I actually had to hold the ball a little bit longer, but you can see how he gets behind the cornerback, uh, which is really the plan. So the route, for whatever reason, I don't know why this particular route does this, but it always gets behind this cover for a cornerback, and typically for a one-play touchdown. Ideally, you want to use a faster receiver for a play like this, but you can see how my boy does get over the top. Uh, he typically gets outside of it. I, you know, I don't want to switch over because I want to be consistent, but you can see it's a, it's a play that is capable of a one-play touchdown. And then last but not least, we have the other cover four, which is a cover four match. We'll go ahead and we'll switch over to that. Same thing, no real setup needed. The Y route, once again, will be the big play. This is essentially like a man matching principle. You can see how Cooper Cup and the same route is going to be the same play. Uh, no adjustments. Cover four, regular or match, and cover one. They're all going to be the exact same where you don't have to make any adjustments on the play at all. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more out of this formation or more out of this uh, playbook, because I have a lot more great offenses out of this playbook. It's one of my favorite playbooks. I said that in a previous video. Uh, the Rams has been one of my favorite for a long time. I just never really used it because I didn't think 
think anybody uses it. But now that I see people are using it, I'm going to try to start using it a little bit more and bring you guys some more great plays if you guys choose for that. So like I said, hit the like button let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.